Hello friends! In this video you'll see how have the actors of the TV series Dynasty 1981-1989 changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Blake Carrington is Crystal's beloved. He is driven, resilient and was able to build Denver Carrington on his own through hard work. Strides for prosperity, the family and deeds, played by John Forsyth, who died in 2010 of complications from pneumonia. Claudia Blaisdale was Matthew's wife and also had a romantic relationship with Stephen. She is characterized by a fragile mental state, which began to deteriorate with the death of her daughter. Often wore earrings and elegant chains, played by Pamela Bellwood. Jeff Colby is Cecil Colby's nephew and Fallon's sweetheart. He's not stupid, used to doing business honestly and can act providently. Jeff was attractive and irresistible to many women. Has two children, born in marriage with Fallon. He was played by John James. Stephen Carrington, Jack Colby, is Blade's second son. He often shows good manners, has a good disposition and is used to acting honestly. He was married several times and has a son with Sammy, but later he preferred to continue relationships with men. Crystal Carrington was originally Blake's secretary, but later married him and had a daughter. She is a sympathetic woman who loves life and warmly relates to her family. It has stamina and her manifestation of selfishness is alien to it, played by Linda Evans. Adam Carrington, Gordon Thompson, was Alexis's first child who was stolen when he was less than two years old. He has a jealous nature, can behave unpredictably and often uses harsh methods to achieve his goal. But on the other hand, he could show care and love. Dex Dexter was Alex's husband. He is distinguished by an unshakable and rather tough nature, especially when it comes to business. Dex is purposeful and can work not only with his head, but also physically. Has good fighting skills. He was played by Michael Nader. Fallon Carrington Colby, Pamela Sue Martin, was one of the daughters of Blake and Alex's. She's a self-sufficient girl who treats her father well and often tried to do what would please him, has a somewhat amorous nature, well versed in the hotel business. Dominic Devereaux is the sister of Blake and Ben. She's smart, has a beautiful voice and knows how to manage her money properly. Dominic reacts very sharply to deceit and is not always able to forgive for such a thing. The role is played by Diane Carroll. Joseph Anders lived at the house of Carrington, where he worked as a butler. He is distinguished by fidelity and always responsibly approached the assignments and duties given to him, knows how to keep secrets and is great at playing billiards, played by Lee Berger. Fallon Carrington Colby is the wife of Jeff, which and later gave birth to two children for him. She has pretty features and expressive eyes. But besides beauty, she is also quite a strong personality who is able to overcome many difficulties, played by Emma Sam. Michael Colkin worked for Blake Carrington as a personal driver. He is often looking for a benefit for himself, trying to get useful information and also tends to manipulate people as a tone physic and attracts girls. He was played by Wayne Northrop. Amanda Bedford Carrington was the youngest of four Blake and Alex's children, but for most of her life she didn't know who her real parents were. Amanda is quite pretty, can behave kindly, but sometimes can cause problems. She was played by Catherine Oxenberg. Dana Waring Carrington, Aline Hunley, was Adam's sweetheart for whom she had sincere feelings. She's a pretty girl with blonde curly hair and a good figure, but she could feel intense envy of more beautiful girls, especially those who were close to her husband. Kirby Anders 
Catherine Beller. She's one of three Joseph children and who was married to Adam. She's a shrewd and sophisticated girl with sweet features who acts very polite and has a calm personality. She's fluent in French and also has a good knowledge of literature. Mark Jennings was a professional tennis player but later became Alex's bodyguard. He knows how to learn from his mistakes and who doesn't get lost in dangerous situations. Played by Jeffrey Scott, who passed away in 2021 from Parkinson's disease. Stephen Carrington, Al Carly, is the brother of Amanda and Fallon. Initially, he was not very talkative and often behaved rather modestly and not rave in wealth. In adolescence, he realized that he had an attraction to guys but couldn't speak openly about it. Leslie Carrington, Terry Garber, is Ben's only child. She can be somewhat arrogant, can be cunning, and in some cases she is only interested in her own benefit. But thanks to this, she was able to achieve significant success in her work, has deep brown eyes. Ben Carrington is Leslie's father and is also related to Blake. He wants to take over his brother's business, but at the same time doesn't wish him bad and is even ready to risk his life to save him. Possesses compassion. He was played by Christopher Gaisenow. Clay Fountain is a very likable man who is used to earning a living on his own and even physically working on the pipeline, despite the fact that he comes from a wealthy family. He's free-spirited and loves female attention. The role is played by Ted McGinley. Sable Caldy got along well with Blake and helped him stand up to Alex's. She has a business streak, has a strong character, and is a purposeful person who can stubbornly go to her goal. She dresses strictly but elegantly. The role is performed by Stephanie Beach. Prince Michael of Moldova, who was married to Amanda. He knows how to behave in a secular society while demonstrating complete calm and confidence is accustomed to the status of a prince and a simple life is extremely difficult for him. Played by Michael Prade. Andrew Laird, Peter Mark Richmond, is an attorney at Denver Carrington and is in good terms with Blake Carrington. He will never betray his friends and always tries to help them in a difficult situation. Often wore a ring on the little finger on his right hand. Cecil Colby runs Colby Car Oil and is also Jeff's uncle. He is a rather charming but cunning man who managed the business perfectly, but not infrequently resorted to manipulation. Capable of betrayal, played by Lloyd Kochner, who died in 2005 from cancer. Dr. Nick Toscani was a skilled neurosurgeon in the past but moved into psychology. He was obsessed with taking revenge on Blake and didn't hesitate to use innocent girls and even little Albie Calvi, can good at pretending. The role was played by James Farentino. Sergeant John Zorelli, Ray Abruzzo, works at the Philadelphia police station and was the one who investigated the murder of Grimes. He was used to get into the bottom of the truth and usually didn't mix work and personal relationships, but Fallon was an exception. Cassandra Harris Morrill is Alex's sister but was on bad terms with her and ended up in jail because of her. She has a beautiful figure and is short in stature. She hated being called Cassandra and wanted revenge on her sister. She was played by Kate O'Mara. Matthew Blaisdell was the husband of Claudia with whom they raised their daughter together. He was polite, showed diligence and always cared for his family, but he could be somewhat rude. Played by Bob Hopkins, who died in 2022 of a heart attack. Luke Fuller works for Colby Co., where his primary responsibility is public relations. He is quite intelligent, used to working hard and always openly expressed his position and his feelings. Luke has strong feelings for Steven, who was supported by Billy Campbell. Jackie Darrow is 
the only daughter of Dominic, born from a relationship with Garrett. She's a rather sweet girl who has similar facial features to her mother, knows how to smile openly and warmly, and behaves quite affably. The role was performed by Troy Byer. Sammy Jo Dean Carrington, Heather Locklear, is Crystal's niece and was also married to Stephen, with whom she had a son. She often behaved rudely and narcissistic, but over time she managed to change her actions, became deliberate, and her behavior more serious. Alexis Carrington Calvi is a powerful woman who is able to manage Calvi car oil. She is elegant, always looks after herself and can be sweet, but on the other hand, she shows infidelity, does nasty things all for the sake of revenge on Blake, played by John Collins. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.